Okay, it looks like we've thoroughly examined the crime scene. Is there anything else in this cabinet, maybe? Nope, just ordinary personal belongings. Okay, well then, I have absolutely no idea what to do. Uh, hmm. Like, the only piece of evidence we got was a small sliver of wood. Fragment of wood. It's a small fragment of wood. I wonder what we could do with that, even. Is it? Does it match the walking stick, perhaps? It's a perfect fit. This fragment of wood must have splintered off when the walking stick was broken. That means the walking stick was broken in the house at the time of the murder. Why was the walking stick in the house at the time of the murder? That's very mysterious. The killer didn't have to use force to make Zulin face it down because he had in his possession the one thing that would compel her to obey, her father's walking stick. The killer was sending a message. If he was capable of taking such an item right from under Zudan's nose, he was also capable of inflicting injury and pain at any moment. He reinforced that point by breaking the stick in front of Zulin Fei, but doing so caused a fragment to splinter off. Coerced into submission, Zulin Fei bravely did what she thought was the only way to protect her father, sacrifice herself. Wow, okay, so that is uh, one piece of evidence in my detection board. No idea what any of the other pieces of evidence are going to be. Hmm. Still the footprint. I know, I could use the footprint sketch on um, the thing outside. These footprints. Let's check. It's a match. These footprints are almost identical in shape and size to the footprint sketch drawn by Lieutenant Ma. The killer must have spied on Zulin Fei and her father from the spot to study their movements and routines. Yeah! Oh, I'm so good with evidence. But the rose... The rose... Well, why is the rose... Okay, so the killer purposely left this rose behind, but why? Yeah, it doesn't look like we get anything, any new information there. If I touch that... Um, nope, 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 that's the exact same thing. Okay, so he's just summarizing everything he's figured out. Okay, well, I still have no idea how to, to work the rows, so let's go back to um, the investigation place, basically. I can't go back to the Imperial Palace. That would be ridiculous. There's nothing for me to do there. Take a look at this plant. Yeah, let's go back to the Justice, Justice Department. Perhaps talk to uh, everybody, see if they have any information which is new. Nothing new to talk about. Okay. Let's talk to Zudan. Hmm. What if I try using this stuff on him? Just get him to talk about an item by using it on him. Hmm. Can't see how that would help. Yeah, it wouldn't help to use a hammer on this guy. See, we probably can't just open the doors and let him leave. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, let's see if the coroner has anything interesting to say. I mean, I can't, uh, I imagine I can't just, like, use these items on uh, Lieutenant Ma and talk. We could, okay. Not sure of its significance, but I thought it was strange that the broken walking stick was found near the victim's body. Oh, well, I, I figured it out. What about the rose? We're not sure if this belonged to Zulin Fei or not, but her father says she never had any interest in plants and flowers. But why would the killer leave it behind? Okay, so using items on him works. That gives us, um, well, almost nothing. But, uh... It gave us at least a little bit of uh, new dialogue. Evidence box is empty. Yeah, 
they're kind of running out of options here. Let's talk to uh, the coroner. Maybe he's got something new. Thank you, I'll be on my way. Let's use the items on him. And he won't let me... He will probably not let me take his medical chisel. I don't think I've proven that I need it. Okay, well, I've, I've gone everywhere and talked to everybody, and uh, it doesn't look like there's any more evidence that I can find or pick up. Yeah, none of those books. So I might need to go back to the Imperial Palace, but before that, I'm going to go back to my room. So that seems like a more likely place. I don't want to bother people at the Imperial Palace. Yeah, the Empress does not need to be bothered by me. Nothing here is new or different. Yeah, n nothing here has changed. Okay, off to the Imperial Palace we go. So let's talk to Yao first. Gosh, we have nothing to talk to her about. What if I use some of these items on her? Try to attack her with a hammer. Yeah, that would not help. I'm pretty sure we won't be able to talk to the Empress about anything new. What are these things near her? Those are just flowers, I guess? I don't see how that would help. Yep, nothing new to talk to her about. I've told you everything I know. I expect you to recover everything that's unknown. Very strange. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to assume I missed something at the victim's house. But what on earth could it be? Soft dirt in the yard, makes it easy to leave impressions. I think that was just information to help with the footprints. Hmm, now where on earth could the flower have come from? The rose. Why is the rose not wilted yet? Is a, is a very good question. Let's see, part of the front yard. Let's take a look uh, through this window again. Hmm. Unless there's something I've missed. So I checked out the area of interest in the bed and the mat. I guess we can look at them again. dried with large gruesome stain is an unsettling reminder. I guess I can look at the... No? Okay, so when I look at the chairs, that doesn't change what it said, whether I look at the chairs or the blood stain. The killer drew her into the house on the center chair made her sit. Why didn't she run or fight back? Is it something crazy like um, you know, the killer... You know, use the rose? The killer maybe was someone she knew? Like a secret boyfriend or something? Hmm. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. I'm sorry, I am super confused by this.